Research geologist Benjamin Andrew joins us right now. Benjamin, thanks for being along. Is there a prediction on when the Icelandic volcano will erupt? Thank, thanks for having me here. Um, yes, the Icelandic Met Office, they're the agency that's responsible for monitoring the volcano in Iceland and all the volcanoes in Iceland. They are forecasting that an eruption could happen in the next few days, but it doesn't. that doesn't mean that it will happen in the next few days. And they're, they're closely monitoring the situation with seismometers to listen for earthquakes or feel earthquakes, with um, geologists on the ground looking at the, at the fissures, for example, that you're seeing right there and mapping those fissures and those cracks, and then also with all sorts of amazing instruments from space, such as radars that can measure how the ground is moving and really track where where we think the magma is at depth beneath Iceland. As a research geologist, can you look back at the event, the explosive eruption in 2010, and compare it? What was so different? That led to the massive air travel disruptions all across Europe, um, but that's not the same scenario that could happen here. That, that's right. So with the eruption in 2010 of Eyjafjallajökull, Jurkel, the the salt magma that was rising, which is this very similar magma that's rising right now at um, in, in Iceland at the moment, that magma in 2010 intersected a glacier and came out, some of the magma came out underneath a glacier as we're seeing in the video right there. And when the hot magma or the hot lava intersected that ice, it melted the ice and then flashed that water to steam. And that's what drove most of the explosive activity was interaction between the hot magma or the hot lava and the, the water. And in the case of the eruption that's happening, that might happen in the next uh, interval in Iceland, there's no external water like that to, to make it drive an explosive an eruption. So it's releasing energy, it's just in a different way, allowing that lava to flow mm -hmm. out. The earthquakes give the indication, those are the hints that eruption could be happening. It's, it's the mm -hmm. cue almost for a volcano. Oh, you look at Mount Etna in Sicily that erupted over the weekend. We know there's been earthquake activity in you know, Washington State, Mount St. Helens. It, it continues to be something that you watch all the time. How would you describe the global seismic activity right now? Is it normal or is it more mm -hmm. active than normal? It, people start to get more interested when you talk about 22 2,000 earthquakes in Iceland in just a matter of weeks. That's that's right. And and for example, in the last 12 hours or so in Iceland, there have been more than 700 earthquakes at this this very likely location for a future eruption. The the answer is that there's no real change in the global level of volcanism that's happening right now, or the global amount of earthquakes. And so what's what's happening rather is that we're our attention is being driven to the very spectacular eruption in, in Italy at Etna, or in this instance, the very well-monitored eruption that might happen in Iceland. And so it's something where we're, we're cued into what's going on, but there's no greater amount of activity happening right now than was happening a month ago or a year ago. Before we leave you, in the situation of Iceland, as that lava starts to spill out, is it a situation where the entire town would be covered, or would it be more what we're seeing right now, those breaks in the concrete and the roads and starting to see some of that magna come up through that? Will the town be ruined, I guess, is the question. That, that's, a, that's a really good question, and one of the, the sort of heartbreaking questions we, we worry about as, as scientists in a situation like this. We don't really, I don't really know, and I would hope that the eruption, if it happens, does not destroy the town. If if lava erupts, it will likely flow and will flow generally downhill. However, as the lava flows, it can then change the local topography. And so what used to be downhill, now another spot becomes downhill. And so so it's it's a case where if lava starts to erupt, the the city, the town will be evacuated and has already been evacuated. And it'll be a an, un an unfortunate situation. Yeah, and nobody knows how long this could take, so it, it might be uh, homes and lives change forever. It'll be interesting to see how it all unfolds. We appreciate your insight. Benjamin Andrews, director of the Global Volcanism Program. Thanks for being on Weather Command. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.